Hi, my name is Kyle Albrecht, welding shop here in Austin, Texas. And we originally started today out, we were going to install this vibrator on this dump truck to help the client remove material from his bed. We were putting our supports down and we realized that there's a large crack in here on his bed frame. This is fairly common when improper welds are done. What's happened here is people have been trying just to weld directly on the face steel right here. They're not getting any penetration and it's causing a larger and larger crack. What needs to be done to properly repair this is all this material has to be completely removed and then an open V butt weld needs to be installed. And what that is is where we take the plate steel and we gouge it out and depending on the thickness of the metal it may take multiple passes to fill it up properly and flush. And then with this particular instance what we'll probably end up doing is coming in here and putting another plate on top of it and welding around that plate also because this has been so fatigued from improper craftsmanship. Alright, so in our last shot, we just gouged everything out. I went back through there with a the grinder and gouged a little bit more, took out all the porosity. There's none of that left. Welded everything up. Uh, we found a lot more after we got a little deeper into it that needed to be repaired, uh, especially in this zone. Then uh, welded everything up, sanded it all down. Now that we're back flush to base metal, we're going to go ahead and plate this again. So what we've done here is we've taken a section of 3 8 flat bar and kind of turned it into a elongated diamond where we've uh, rounded the ends off to kind of a point. So that should help with any more fatigue cracks in the future. And this should solve the issue the proper way.